this is it. The final race of the season here in the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series. Miami is here. Four drivers remain in the playoffs about to fight it out for a championship. We started at the high banks of Daytona International Speedway where we had a pretty solid finish ourselves and had a strong first regular season as a rookie overall there. As you see us going by here at Daytona, we came through at Bristol going for our first career Cup Series win, but we ran into trouble late in the race and spun out after contact with the 37 of Chris Buescher taking us out of contention, but we would actually battle back at Charlotte Motor Speedway, holding off uh, two hard chargers of Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, as well as Brad Keselowski, a third one involved as we came out of turn four to come through to get our first win of three so far in our rookie season at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We would make the playoffs, but unfortunately fall short here at ISM Raceway after blowing a right rear tire, collecting Brad Keselowski, and we would come up short of making the final four. So now only four drivers remain. Who's going to win it all here today in Miami? me. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mode. I hope you all enjoyed that little uh, introduction there for this Final Four here today. Obviously we missed out on the Final Four, but first before we get into the Cup Series here at Homestead Miami, we have the Xfinity Series race where we had subscriber Leonardo uh, Esparza in the car as he went down towards turns 1. This is our final race in the Xfinity Series with the Stuart Haas racing team. Next season, obviously, we're going to be on Stuart Haas in the Cup Series, but we're going to venture off and start our own team in the Xfinity Series next season. I will show you guys at the end of this episode, actually, the car that we're going to be uh, driving. And I was pretty surprised with how good the car actually looked with the custom design, so I'm excited for you guys to maybe stick around for the end of this episode and see the paint scheme we'll have on our new team next season in the Xfinity Series. But now Esparzo uh, came through to the final lap at this point through turns 3 and turns 4, trying to make up whatever ground he could. But it's been a, a rough season here for our Xfinity program as he went down this front straightaway, actually getting sideways on the exit of the corner. But he would come through here uh, to get at least a decent finish here for us in the Xfinity Series with a 25th place finish. Finish. Noah Gregson actually won the race and won the championship. So now we come through to Miami for the Cup Series here in qualifying down through turn three. We're, uh, we were eliminated last round, so obviously we got nothing to lose here today in Miami. We can be as aggressive as we need to be as we come through turns three and turns four on our qualifying lap, heading down this front straightaway. Our following, final qualifying effort of the season comes through with a 32.269 to go P10. And no pulls this season in our rookie season. We did, I think, get a second, but that's the best we could do. So unfortunate, but on on the pole, we have Kyle Busch of Final Four Drivers. We get ready to go green here for Homestead, Miami. Welcome to Homestead, Miami Speedway for the Ford EcoBoost 400. Tonight, NASCAR will crown the next Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion. Over 40 drivers started this season with high hopes and big dreams. But after a long season, only four drivers still have a shot at the title. Four drivers still have a shot there. You heard it from Rick Allen Palmenard. Only drivers sent to the back after giving up qualifying position for new tires. There's a final four driver on the pole of Kyle Busch. He's battling against Denny Hamlin, Joey Logano, and Martin Truex Jr. here tonight at Homestead Miami as we get ready to go green from the 10th starting position. You're going to notice a lighting change here when we go to the replay cams in these first two stages, but the green flag is out. The final race of the season is underway. Our final race as a rookie here in the Monster Energy Cup Series. We announced last Last episode that we have another season with this 41 team until our contract is going to be up and after that we're gonna have to figure something out because uh, from the sounds of it Gene Haas who really runs the 41 car isn't very interested he has some other plans after next season with this 41 car maybe bringing in someone like Daniel Suarez we're not quite sure yet now as we go down towards turns three here behind Kurt Busch putting on the pressures we're gonna jump up to this high lane you guys know I love to run the top lane so we're gonna get up here as soon as possible now as we come through on the exit of turn four coming down this front straight we're gonna come through to completely 
this first lap and we get up to P8 now passing Tyler Reddick of the 31 as we come through the corner there you see up ahead the final four drivers Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr. all running up inside that top five currently now as we exit the second corner heading down this back straightaway Tyler Reddick uh, on my inside we would blow right on past him but once we pass Tyler Reddick we kind of just stalled out here on P6 now as we continue to see me running the top lane Kevin Harvick our teammate who just missed out on the final four as well behind me so me and him got in a little bit of a sc uh, scrap here as we went down this front straightaway up ahead though the five drivers doing a good job we actually started to reel them in though Kyle Busch he was driving away Denny Hamlin running P2 but Logano and Truex uh, two other final four drivers battling it out here with Brand Keselowski with 10 to go at this point here in the first and opening stage at Homestead Miami Obviously, you see me running up on this top lane, just trying to make sure that, that I don't knock the wall down. But we continued to reel in this group here of three cars. And sure enough, we come through now on uh, five to go on the stage. Lap 15 of 19, jumping up to that top again through turns one and turns two. And it certainly seemed like the longer the run went on, the better our car was getting compared to the AI. Because we definitely had the speed now as we come through out of turns two. Heading down this back straightaway three line there with Trubex and Kozlowski. We also look to the outside of Logano, trying to get ahead of him as we go down into turns three and turns four. So having the edge on these guys later in this run as we come through the center of the corner. Now drifting up the track and we actually get into the wall for the first time here today in Miami. We save it and keep control of the car, but certainly unfortunate we will continue battling here as we came through on lap 18 of 19. Two to go on the stage. We actually got to the wall again as Logano he was just barely on my inside, so that completely wiped our chances of third in the stage as we dropped down to P7, so that was a big mistake on my part. Now as we came out of turn two on the final lap, that time chasing the car up the track because they got loose and hit the wall again so now all of a sudden we've done some damage to the right hand side of our car and here on this final lap in the stage we're definitely going to have to prepare to do some repairs to the car now is Kyle Busch though the final four kind of leader right now he would come through to win stage one as we go down this run straight away we're going to come through to get P7 here in the first stage but clearly showing that we have speed in this car so we're going to get to pit road as quickly as possible but two cans of fuel in it four tires and as well as we're going to put some repairs on that right hand side of the car and we should be right back into this game here uh, in Homestead, Miami, but the final four all looking pretty strong here so far today. So definitely going to get interesting here as we get ready to start stage two. The sun has fallen a little bit more now as we get ready to go green from P7 here for the second stage. The final few stages of the season. We are ready to go green. Stage 2 is officially underway. Kyle Busch leads away as we make this long stretch down towards turns 1. 17 laps here in this second stage at Homestead Miami Speedway up the inside there of the 4 of Kevin Harvick as we come through the center of the corner. You see Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin up there side by side for that second position. The final four drivers are all right now in the top four. Kyle Busch, Logano, Hamlin, and Truex lead that uh, final four in that order as we go down towards turns three of the inside of the two of Brad Keselowski is Hamlin. He's all the way up at the wall. Kyle Busch, he's up the track, allowing Joey Logano up his inside. Logano hasn't shown a whole lot of speed in that first stage, but here he is up in the second position as we clear Keselowski going down into turns one behind that 11 car now of Denny Hamlin. Huge he seems to be the most aggressive right now in terms of getting up towards that wall, but it doesn't seem to be paying off for him as I followed him up there and lost the spot to our teammate of Kevin Harvick as we go down this back straightaway side by side though with Kevin Harvick as we battle back with the momentum into the corner now as Kyle Busch clearly showing a lot of speed trying to drive away at this point as he uh, comes through the center of the corner. Now he is up at the top allowing his teammate of Truex to get towards his inside as we go down this front straightaway side by side with the two of Keselowski as we go down towards turns one giving our teammate of Harvick a little bit of a shove and he's going to follow us down to the inside now and a little bit sideways there from the four as we come through the center of the corner and we get to the back of him now as we had tried to check him but didn't have enough time but he hangs on to it we all keep it clean thankfully and that would be enough of that now as we would be ahead of obviously Keselowski and Harvick and still be running behind these guys of Logano we had run Logano down looked to the inside of him as so much momentum as we went down into turn three that we blew right on past him we cleared him into the corner as Truex at this point actually had taken the lead from Kyle Busch so now Busch down to P2 in front of Denny Hamlin as we came out of turn four heading down this front straight away. And Kyle Busch would also get passed by Hamlin. So Busch now down to P3 as we came through approaching the 18 now as we're certainly showing some speed a lot more here in the second stage as we go down this front straightaway. Denny Hamlin is blowing up as we go down towards turns one. A huge upset now as he goes spinning into the corner. We just barely miss him and nearly get taken out in that incident. 
A Final Four driver now out here at Homestead, Miami. Denny Hamlin, a huge upset. Unfortunately, he looked like he was gaining some speed as the nighttime was coming in. So very unfortunate. He was my pick in real life to win the championship. I wanted him to win this one as well. But we would actually stay out. And now we are getting ready to go green from the second position. Kyle Busch is, I think, the only four, Final Four driver that is staying out on the track. So this is a very interesting strategy here. That's either going to really favor Kyle Busch or it's going to really hurt him in this final stage now. As Logano and Truex pitted, obviously, Denny Hamlin... He's the only driver on the pit lane, which does signify uh, that he is out of this race here, unfortunately, here in Homestead, Miami. So only three drivers remain in this title fight. I don't think we've ever seen a Final Four driver uh, DNF uh, in a race here at Homestead, Miami. But we have here in the game today now as we go down this back straight over, though. Trying to put some pressure on Kyle Busch, but I'm trying to be a little bit careful around him. I don't want to go and make a mistake and take him out and end up uh, ruining his playoff chances there as I get to the wall. And that completely messes me up. So we would come through now right to the white flag in the stage only a couple laps later. Still right behind Kevin Harvick, our teammate Kyle Busch still leading as we come through turns one and turns two, nearly getting into that outside wall, but we do keep it off now as we exit turn two, heading down this back straightaway for the final time here in this second stage at Homestead, Miami. Kyle Busch won the first stage as we go up the inside, though, of our teammate of Ky Kevin Harvick as we go down into this third turn. He does give us about half a lane of room to work with, and we clear him with that room that he gave us as we exit turn four. Kyle Busch won stage one, and he will come through to win the second stage as we come through P2, just in front of our uh, Stuart Haas racing teammate of Kevin Harvick who will be joining us in the lineup of course next season as well as he is not going anywhere. Jimmy Johnson might be going somewhere eventually here as obviously he announced that 2020 will be his final season but we would come to the pit lane once again for two cans of fuel and four fresh tires but actually everyone else is coming back to the pit lane so the drivers that pitted before made an interesting call. I'm not sure why they made that call so we would come out actually taking the lead from Kyle Busch here for the start of the third and final stage. Just three drivers remain from the Final Four as Denny Hamlin DNF'd earlier in this race. So it's Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, and Martin Truex Jr. still in the hunt for the championship race here as we go down towards turns one with just 25 laps to go at Homestead Miami Speedway. We lead the way into the corner, but we already make a mistake. We hit the apron, and now our teammate of Kevin Harvick is going to come through out of turn two, trying to put the pressure on me, but we hang on, thankfully, there as we go out of turn two down this back straightaway. Kyle Busch to the outside. I just let him have his lane. I'm not going to try and mess with him too much now as we go down towards turn three. I don't want to be that guy that messes up the uh, championship drivers now as we come through turn three and turn four. Now with the four of Harvick's actually going to look to our inside now as we come through down this front straightaway, completing this opening lap here in the third stage. We side draft the four of Harvick as we go down towards turn four. We're going to give him the room though as we go into the corner so we give him that space he needs as we come through this first turn. He gave us the space we needed earlier so we got to repay the favor somehow now as we come through out of turns two though. We have the momentum on Harvick as we go down this back straightaway. We're going to fight back though towards this inside as we go down towards turns three and turns four. Kyle Busch doesn't really have much competition from behind from any of the final four drivers as obviously uh, the, the other guys pitted so they're a bit behind right now as we exit turn four. Harvick's still in my right rear now as we go down coming through at least to lead the lap here with 23 laps to go but it certainly seems like we don't have the fastest car right now as we go down into this first corner. Kyle Busch trying to put on the pressures. We slide up the track in front of our teammate Kevin Harvick. Kyle Busch is going to come through to the bottom. I decide, okay, you can just have that bottom lane and I'm not really going to challenge him as we go down this back straightaway now side by side into turn three. So right here is where I decide to get just out of the throttle just a tiny bit early, just trying to keep it easy on Kyle Busch. I'm not here to mess up anything for him as Kevin Harvick, though. He would also slip through, but we came through on lap 47. Martin Truex Jr., another Final Four contender had gotten up here now as he had gotten past me on the, up the inside as we actually had the momentum down the straightaway to battle with him but I actually get out of the throttle just for a moment to make sure he stays clear and not impede in his uh, obviously uh, attempt to get to Kyle Busch and sure enough we came to lap 49 just a few laps later he had passed our teammate of Kevin Harvick so now we got two final four drivers running 1-2 as we came through on lap 51. Truex still just barely ahead as we're going to go for one final crank it up here in this season uh, here in Homestead, Miami.
right there was your crank it up here today at Homestead Miami. Now as we would actually come through on lap 55, now battling with our teammate of Kevin Harvick, trying to make a pass on him on this outside lane, side by side with the four car as we come out of turn two, but we had the momentum that we would be able to clear Kevin Harvick going down this back straightaway and set our sights on Martin Truex Jr. again, because the longer this run went on, just like earlier in the race, the better our car was. I don't think we still had the fastest car, but it looked like we had like a second place car, so we would come through on lap 59, looking to the outside of Truex. He gave us uh, the space I wanted to get through without causing him any issues. Sure enough, we would be able to use this outside lane through turns three and uh, turns four to try and once again build up the momentum on the exit to turn four. And we would have so much momentum, we would blow right on past the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. And now we come through with uh, just now a lap of fuel in the car, passing lap traffic at this point coming through, but we would end up getting a caution though, as there was just six laps to go at this point, and now obviously everyone has to come to the pit lane, but now we're wondering what do we do here? Obviously we have Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., and Joey Logano now all up inside the top five, so this championship battle is going to go right down to the end here. It's been a bit of a wild one for Denny Hamlin, obviously he crashed in front of us earlier, but I decide that the safest thing to do to keep us up front here is probably take a uh, no tires as well as we're going to do half a can of fuel and we are going to come through to come out in P3 because we had Tyler Reddick and Paul Menard stay out on the racetrack so all of a sudden we got a little bit of a mixed uh, playing field here now as the green flag is up for potentially the final time this season three laps to decide the Monster Energy Cup Series champion Joey Logano behind us starts on the outside and so does Kyle Busch so Martin Truex Jr. behind us on the inside has the biggest advantage as we actually get under the apron and once again into turns one but thankfully we keep the car straight as we come through the center of the corner approaching two to go this time by here in the final race of the season who's going to be the champion Truex and Kyle Busch side by side right now as we clear Pulmonard going into turn three so now we run P2 immediately I jump up to that top lane knowing that uh, everyone's tires are pretty old right now so we can definitely make this top lane work as Truex though gets to the inside he clears Kyle Busch Logano now looking to the inside of Busch so Kyle Busch fading in the final moments of the season as we hit two laps to go here in Homestead Miami Tyler Reddick looking for career Career win number one, but I obviously want to get a win here today in Homestead, Miami to make it a four win rookie season as we exit turn two, heading down the spec straight away. We never got a win here in NASCAR Heat 3 career mode, but we have a chance to do so here today in Miami as we go down into turn three. Reddick, he chooses the bottom. We choose that top. Now Reddick actually, he decides to go with the middle lane. Behind us, it's Harvick on the inside. Truex leading the championship four, but Logano closing in quickly on that inside lane. Logano has an opportunity here as we start the final lap in Homestead, Miami. Kyle Bush has completely blown the championship away now as we come through turns one and turns two we get into the wall a little bit but we still carry the momentum here as we come through towards the exit of turns two using whatever we can here on Tyler Reddick as we had the momentum going down the straightaway. Logano and Truex duking it out as we go down into turn three. We're going to get aggressive here with Reddick. We're going to give him the bumper. And sideways, the 31 of Tyler Reddick goes as we come through the center of the corner out of turns four now. And we're sideways on the exit of the corner and down to the apron we go. And we're going to hang on to it, but Joey Logano wins in Homestead, Miami as he edges us out at the line. An epic finish here in the season finale. Joey Logano, championship number two for his Cup Series career. Kyle Busch faded in the final laps. Martin Truex Jr. looked to the, have the advantage, and I, I certainly owe an apology to Tyler Reddick. Not what I had wanted to do. I gave him the bumper, hoping to just move him a bit, but he got really sideways. It was 100% my fault. And like I said, after the race, apologies to the 31. It was a stupid move, but we had a great season, and I can't wait for the next one now, as obviously... Joey Logano is now a two-time Monster Energy Cup Series championship. That was an epic season finale. Denny Hamlin had big issues. We almost got cleaned out in his incident, um, unfortunately for him. And obviously, one crazy finish right there. Certainly not what I expected, uh, but uh, obviously it was my fault. Uh, so certainly apologies to the 31 of Tyler Reddick. But obviously, before we end this episode, obviously it was Logano, Truex, Kyle Busch, and Denny Hamlin in that order for your final four. But we're going to see now, basically, uh, I'm going to show you guys the scheme we're going to be running next season in the Xfinity Series as we start our own uh, team before the Daytona 500. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this episode and others, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those would all be very appreciated. I've, I've appreciated your guys' support throughout this whole season through NASCAR Heat 3 and now into NASCAR Heat 4. But this is our season, uh, next season car here for our own Xfinity team. Obviously, like I said, we're back in the 41, but there is our car, so that is a really nice paint scheme in my opinion. I hope you guys like it, so that's what we're going to be rocking most of the season. So I'll see you guys in the next one when we start a new season uh, at the Daytona 500. So thank you for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a great day.